Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread and Scripture Song broadcast for this 7th day of May, Tuesday, 2024, and today's topic is titled, I Choose Jesus, and hopefully you've chosen Jesus, too, as your Lord and Savior, and keep following him each and every day of your life, and allow him to rule and reign in your heart, <clears throat> so, all right, so we'll get into that here in a few minutes, but first I'd like to greet you as always. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taken away the sin of the world. <clears throat> and he too can be your Lord and Savior today, if he's not already. So hope you'll do that. And uh, don't wait till tomorrow, because you never know when your day is uh, up. And you can step on an eternity, eternity right now, as we're, um, as I'm speaking here and you're watching. And so I um, hope you're saved and uh, called upon Jesus. And if you're lost and undone, well, uh, make that... Uh, happen now so praise the lord all right so we're gonna go ahead and get into the scripture song for today and it's from psalm 15 verses 1 through 2 and i believe this is a psalm of david <clears throat> and let's go ahead and look at psalm 15 in its entirety so let's go ahead and here sorry about that all right so psalm 15 and look at this psalm here Alright, so Psalm 15, and let's see, so there's only five verses here, so this is a Psalm of David, and we're going to sing verses 1 and 2, but I'm going to go ahead and read it in its entirety since it's only five verses, so it says here in uh, verse 1, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle, who shall dwell in thy holy hill, he that worketh uprightly, and worketh righteousness, and speaketh the truth in his heart, he that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a vile person is contemned, that's C-O-N-T-E-M-N-E-D, contemned, uh, but he honoreth them that fear the Lord, he that sweareth to his own hurt, and changeth not, he that putteth not out his money to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. Amen. <clears throat> so that's the entirety of the psalm. And Brother James had mentioned something in the Romans book when I was reading it today about what contempt means. Um, but uh, we'll go, maybe I'll try to um, find that and uh, tell you what it means tomorrow. And tomorrow's broadcast if i remember so or you can try to remember me uh, um to do that so <clears throat> or rem remind me not remember <laughs> not remember me but remind me <laughs> okay so amen all right so let's go ahead and sing the scripture song for today and psalms 15 1 through 2 along with brother dean and sister patty all right <clears throat> psalms 15 1 and 2 lord, lord who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly, and worketh righteousness, and speaketh the truth in his heart. That's right. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in the holy hill? Who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth the truth in his heart. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? <clears throat> All right. Good. Um, scripture song there from Psalm 15. And we'll put that aside and do these scripture songs again, yesterday's and today's, 
after we get finished with everything else. Now it's time to get into today's topic for Tuesday, May 7th, 2024, titled, I Choose Jesus. And 1 Corinthians 15, 13 says, But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? And so that's 1 Corinthians 15, 13. And we know that Christ is risen and is alive forevermore. And it would be good to get the entirety of chapter 15. I know this is a lengthy um, chapter here, but we need to read it to understand it in its entirety. So let's go ahead and open the Bible here and read chapter 15. So here we go. All right, so let's see. There is um, 55 verses here. So let's get started before we get into the topic and read the entirety of this chapter. So chapter 15, verse 1. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, but which also ye are, or excuse me, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. I hope you haven't believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again at the third day according to the scriptures, and that he was seen of Cephas, then of the eleven, after that he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that he was seen of James, then of all the apostles, and last of all he was seen of me also, as of one born out of due time, for I am the least of the apostles, that am not meet to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God, and this is Paul speaking here, and he sure did. Then he got saved on the road to Damascus. <clears throat> and verse 10 it says, But by the grace of God I am what I am, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach, and so ye believed. Now if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain, and your faith is also vain? Yea, and we are found false witnesses of God, because he, uh, because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he raised not up, if so be that the dead raised not. And we know that he did rise from the dead. And verse 16 continues on, it says, For if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised? And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain, ye are yet in your sins. Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead. Amen and hallelujah. So, but now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruits, afterward they that are Christ at his coming, then come at the end, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power, for he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death, uh, for he hath put all things under his feet. But when he saith, all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is accepted, which is <clears throat> which did not, excuse me, which did put all things under him. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, 
then shall the son of son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him that god may be all in all else what should they do which are baptized for the dead if the dead rise not at all why are they then baptized for the dead and why stand we uh, in jeopardy every hour i protest by your rejoicing which ha i have in christ jesus our lord i die daily if after the manner of men i ha have fought with beasts at ephesus what advantage it me if the dead rise not let us eat and drink for tomorrow we die be not deceived evil communications corrupt good manners awake to righteousness and sin not for some have not the knowledge of god i speak this to your shame but some man will say how are the dead raised up and with what body do they come thou fool that which uh, thou sowest is not quickened except to die and that which thou sowest thou sowest not that body that shall be but bear uh, grain it may chance of uh, wheat or of some other grain but god giveth it a body as it hath pleased him and to every seed his own body all flesh is not the same flesh but there is one kind of flesh of men <clears throat> another flesh of beasts another fishes and another of birds there are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial but the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of the terrestrial is another there is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars for one star different from another star in glory so also is the resurrection of the dead it is sown in corruption it is raised in incorruption it is sown in dishonor <clears throat> it is raised in glory it is sown in weakness it is raised in power it is sown a natural body it is raised a spiritual body there is a natural body and there is a spiritual body and so it is written the first man adam was made a living soul the last adam was made a quickening spirit howbeit that was not first which is spiritual but that which is natural and afterwards that which is spiritual the first man is of the earth earthy the second man is the lord from heaven as is the earthy such are they also that are earthy and as is the heavenly such are they also that are heavenly and as we have borne the image of the earthy we shall also bear the image of the heavenly now this i say brethren that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of god neither doth corruption inherit in incorruption behold i shew you a mystery we shall not all sleep but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality so when this corruption or corruptible shall have put on incorruptible and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory O death where is thy sting O grave where is thy victory the sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law but thanks be to god which giveth us the victory through our lord jesus christ therefore my beloved brethren be ye steadfast unmovable always abounding in the work of the lord for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the lord that's right so that's the entirety of chapter 15 and we needed to understand that the entire chapter there <clears throat> so uh, praise the lord one day we'll get raptured out of here and get our new bodies and go be with jesus so all right so let's go ahead now and get into the topic now that we read the entire chapter there i choose jesus and again first corinthians fifteen thirteen says but if there be no resurrection of the dead then is christ not risen and we know he has risen and we just uh, read it there and today's author is brother guy goodell and he's deceased from uh, Hudson um, 
Let's see, where is he? Where is brother? Good all. Uh, he's from Hudson Falls, New York. That's where he lived before he passed away. And now let me read you what he wrote here. He says, Dr. Earl Lee and I stood by the tomb of Islam's founder in the Alabaster Mosque in Cairo, Egypt in the 1990s. He writes here, we listened as the guide boasted about having the actual body of Muhammad there. I leaned over to Earl and said, We just came from the tomb of our founder, and his tomb was empty. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Dr. Lee smiled and nodded, right? Uh, in 1 Corinthians 15, Paul went on to tell of the emptiness of one's life without the resurrected Savior, the world, with its ongoing attempt to eradicate all evidence of the Son of God and his resurrection has substituted its Easter bunny for the Savior. Uh, the world has also tried to convince us that the bunny actually lays eggs for children to hunt, right? Uh, the modern church has succumbed to the world's ongoing pressure and celebration of Easter once a year. In the book of Acts and in early writings of the apostles, the resurrection of Christ was talked about daily. In Acts, the resurrection of Christ is referred to at least 39 times. The apostle Paul, in his letters to the churches, referred frequently to Christ's resurrection. The bunny might be funny, <laughs> yeah, but the resurrected Jesus is serious business. If Christ was not raised, then we have no foundation, no hope, no comfort, no power for living, and our gospel message is fraud. See 1 Corinthians 15, 1-8, and 15, which we just read. And he writes here in big, bold letters, I don't know your choice, but I choose Jesus, and so do I. And I hope you do too. Don't... Don't choose the Easter Bunny or Santa Claus, Satan Claus, or, or any man over Jesus Christ who is God manifest in his uh, flesh and came down to this earth and lived a holy sinless life and then went to the cross and died for our sins and was buried and rose again the third day according to scripture. No man can do that. Muhammad can't do that. Buddha can't do that. No man can do that. Not even some priest or pope. And if you don't like what I'm preaching, then you can go, go somewhere else and believe your lies that the devil tells you and whispers in your ears and tells you all these lies that some man is some mediator between God and men. It's only a man, Christ Jesus, who is more than just a man. He is God manifest in the flesh. Yeah, amen. So if you're believing that Muhammad could do something for you or Buddha can do something for you, they're all dead and in the grave and they can't help you and your gods can't help you. Nobody can help you but Jesus Christ, amen? So you better put your faith and trust in him and him alone. And if you don't like that preaching, well, that's too bad because that's the God honest truth, amen? Jesus Christ saves sinners and he is the only one that can do so. So believe on him, choose him, amen? Don't choose some pope or priest or Mary or some saint that can't help you because they're all um, dead and up there with Jesus Christ. Mary couldn't save your soul. She told you to go to Jesus and, and find out what he has to say, right? So uh, she might be honored, but she is not some mediator between God and man, some mediatrix or whatever you want to believe about Mary or whatever um, Catholic priest is uh, telling you some lie. So get the truth. Get in God's word right here, the Bible. Get in God's word and understand it and believe it. So, amen, as my pastor brother James Knox says, if you're not going to believe the first few verses of Genesis chapter 1, you're not going to believe the rest of the Bible. So, And in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and that's the truth right there. So, praise the Lord. All right, so that's, uh, that's some good preaching right there, amen. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. Uh, now that we got that uh, there, about who Jesus is and all that, so let's go ahead and get into today's uh, topic for the uh, Daily Strength Volume 2 book by Douglas D. Stauffer and Andrew B. Ray. And today we're continuing on this uh, topic of fellowship, and we are on day 94, Tuesday, continuing in fellowship, and you need to be in fellowship with other believers, 
and not to be unequally yoked with unbelievers. So, here we go. Acts 2.42 says, And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and in breaking of bread and in prayers. Amen. Acts 2.42. And I encourage you to read all of that chapter there um, in its entirety to understand what's going on there. And now for introductory thoughts. It says, It is much easier to serve God together with others rather than alone, right? So other believers that are following uh, Christ and and all that, uh, there is great wisdom attained through the right kind of fellowship with other like-minded believers. When one believer wavers during times of temptation, his fellow believers will engage him to stay faithful to the Lord's work, right? So stay faithful to the Lord's work and following the Lord. When one of the saints struggles in times of uncertainty, his fellow believers can remind him of God's faithfulness. The Bible shows us that the early church thrived in the Lord's work. Those early Christians served the Lord with a great zeal. The secret to their success must uh, most definitely included their continuation in fellowship and incorporating some basic principles for instance, the Lord Jesus sent out his disciples by twos, Mark 6, 7, and the early church followed uh, suit, Acts 13, 2. God has given us a great insight into the importance of fellowship by emphasizing it so frequently. That's right. So let's get on the ball and uh, have that fellowship, and especially with the Lord and other believers that are following uh, the Lord and truth. Okay, so that was the introductory thoughts. Now for devotional thoughts for children. And we can apply this to adults also in many ways. It says here, The walls around the city of Jerusalem had been broken down and the gates burned. Nehemiah worked with a group of people to rebuild those walls and repair the gates. Even with many enemies trying to discourage the work, the walls were finished in 52 days. When uh, we work together, much more work can be accomplished, right? So don't let the enemy discourage you and say, Oh, that's just a waste of time. Why well, you keep on following Jesus? You know, blah, blah, blah. You know, well, just read it to you. He is alive forevermore. Amen. <laughs> so, and if, uh, if all that was in vain, and why is so many... Uh, People um, die for a lie, right? <laughs> so, so many martyrs out there that died for Jesus because they knew it was the truth. <clears throat> now for everyone, it says, what are some of the dangers of seeking to serve the Lord alone? <laughs> There's many dangers because you can't do it alone because that's when the devil and the flesh and the world get the best of you when you try to do it alone. you got to be around others. I understand we can't be around them every single moment of the day, but as much as we can, let's try to encourage each other and uh, fellowship with one another as much as we can and don't do it alone. Uh, in what ways can it be helpful to serve God with other believers because we can edify one another and lift each other up and help each other to keep going and all that. So there's that. How can our results be multiplied by serving with others with uh, whom are you fellowshipping most? Hmm. Uh, do you uh, do they make you a better servant of the Lord? How do you encourage them to be better servants? All right? So, and that was for uh, everyone. And now for prayer thoughts. It says, ask God to give you some good people with whom to fellowship. And then ask the Lord to help you continue in the right fellowship. So those are the prayer thoughts. And then the hymn, which I could not find in the book. So we're just going to do one hymn today. And it was titled, My Christian Friends and Bonds of Love. So that was not in there, or maybe it's under a different title. So that is it for the daily strength for today. And now the one hymn that I did find, um, I found, I did find an actual instrumental for it. So we'll go ahead and listen to it first, and then I'll try to sing along with it as best as I can, and then... Uh, maybe you let you listen to the this choir that I found that was singing this uh, hymn here. It sounds like a really good one, so um, I will try to sing it, um, sing it out. 
So here we go. This is uh, hymn 734 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. And this is um, another one of these, um, so as I said, uh, Spiritual Warfare of the Saint Hymns, a spiritual song. And it's titled Only an Armor Bearer. And it was written by Philip P. Bliss, who lived from 1838 to 1876. And he's the only hymn writer here, and there is no story for this one. So let me uh, grab this here and let you listen to it first. I'll put this down here, and I'm trying to see how I can do this. So I want to follow along here. Let's try to see if I can play it here really quick. So here we go. be stand by my captain serving faithfully hear ye the battle cry forward the call see see the fat ring ones that they fall surely the captain may depend on me though but an armor bearer I may be surely the captain may depend on me though but an armor bearer I may be. Only an armor bearer now in the field, guarding shining helmet, sword, and shield, waiting to hear the thrilling battle cry, ready then to answer, Master, here am I. Hear ye the battle cry, forward the call, See, see the faltering ones, backward they fall. Surely the captain may depend on me, though but an armor bearer I may be. Surely the captain may depend on me, though but an armor bearer I may be. Only an armor bearer, yet may I share glory and mortal and bright crown wear if in the battle to my trust I'm true mine shall be the honors in the grand review hear ye the battle cry forward the call see see the faltering ones back where they fall surely the captain may depend on me Though but an armor bearer I may be, surely the captain may depend on me. Though but an armor bearer I may be. Amen. I like that hymn. <laughs> That's a good one right there. Only an armor bearer. And uh, so, praise the Lord. A good hymn and uh, by Philip P. Bliss. And now the reference is here. And you've got uh, stanza one is Ephesians six eleven, and then stanza two we have First Thessalonians five eight, and Isaiah six eight through ten, and then stanza three we have First Corinthians fifteen, the whole entire chapter, and then Second Timothy four six through eight, and then there's no um, uh, references for the refrain. So, all right, praise the Lord for this hymn here. <clears throat> All right, so we might have to try that again one day. And I'll put that aside there and grab the scripture song book again. And we'll do the scripture songs from yesterday and today. 
and then we'll wrap it up after that. So let's go back to the six. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Psalms 73:28. But it is, it is good, good for, for me to draw near to, near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God, that I may declare all thy works. But it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God, that I may declare all thy works. Good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God. I declare all thy works, and I may declare all thy works. Praise the Lord. Now today is one more time. Psalms 15, 1 and 2. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly, and worketh righteousness, and speaketh the truth in his heart. That's the truth right there. Who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? Or who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walk in the fright Work in righteousness and speak it the truth, the truth in his heart. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? Praise the Lord. All right, so hope you're one of those walking uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. If you're saved, that's what you should be doing. And praise the Lord. All right, so um, that'll be about it for today's broadcast. But before I go, let me give you tomorrow's scripture song and then the topics for uh, the Baptist bread. And there is no topic for the daily strength tomorrow, just a um, passage and then give you the more fight on stories uh, for tomorrow, and then the um, hymn, uh, uh, for tomorrow, the one hymn, so tomorrow will be the 8th, and Isaiah 40, verse 31, and we'll read the entirety of Isaiah 40 to get some context, so it says here in verse 31, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint, so... That's the passage there for the scripture song tomorrow. And then the Baptist bread topic for tomorrow. Let's see here, the 8th. So tomorrow is the 8th. Let's see. Got to get there. All right, so tomorrow is the 8th, the Wednesday, and it's titled Summertime. And Matthew 24, 32b is the passage. And we'll look at the entirety of Matthew 24. And tomorrow's author is Brother Tim Green from Revival in Our Times, Day Heights, Ohio. And as I was saying a couple of days ago, that it's been a while since I've seen uh, him put him and Brother uh, Goodell back to back and the devotionals uh, there. And uh, they must have been pretty good friends because he used to do this all the time and, and um, past devotional books. And so uh, today was uh, Brother um, Guy Goodell, and tomorrow will be Brother Tim Green for the author um, on tomorrow a uh, topic on summertime so all right so that's that uh there and then the daily strength volume two book tomorrow is a church 
night. So let's see, day 95, church night. And Philippians 3.10 is the passage as we're continuing on this topic of fellowship this week. And so on Wednesdays and Sundays, um, we've been reading these uh, stories from the More Fight On Stories book and the more amazing stories about those who have persevered through hardship and danger by Sam Gip, Brother Gip. And we are winding down. We have tomorrow and then Sunday will be the last day that we uh, are in this book. And then we'll put this book aside and then we'll just continue on with the devotionals and the hymn singing and the scripture song singing and not add anything else for a while. But if you missed any of these uh, stories here from both volumes, you can go back um, here. I'm not, I uh, don't remember when I first started reading these. I think it was sometime last year from both uh, volumes. So if you missed any of those, or if you want to get a copy of uh, this, these books here, they're good stories uh, to read. Some of them are pretty, or a lot of them are pretty rough um, about war and stuff like that. So, okay, so let's see here. Um, the first story for tomorrow will be on page 286, titled One Chance. So that's the first story. And then the second story is titled Dot, 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 and Then Some. So that's the second story. And then the third story is on page 288, called, uh, call, uh, titled, Talking Her In. And then we have a quote here on the following page by Eddie Pro Provost, P-R-O-V-O-S-T. And I want to see here if uh, this story is about him or it's the next story. Oh, it's the next story after, after this quote. So the story on the next page is about uh, this man here. And this is um, page 290, and it's titled A Human Human Doing. And this is about um, this man here, Eddie uh, Provost. So that's uh, about him. And then let's see, the next one is, um, let's see here, uh, 291 is Determination and a Dull Knife. So that's that one there. And let's see, and then I think we we're going to do this one here. Uh, the Old Preacher's Famous Night. So I think that will be the last one for tomorrow. And then on Sunday we'll conclude uh, the book here on page 294. And finish it up with these final stories here. Which I'll give you tomorrow um, for Sunday. And then that will be it for the book. So it's been a good book to read. And uh, this is the cover of the book. The More Fight on Stories book. And there's two volumes to this series of books, and uh, you can find all of Brother Gibbs' books on daystarpublishing.com. Uh, it's the website there. So that's uh, those stories for tomorrow. And then the one hymn for tomorrow will be Hymn 735 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. And this is um, going to be the first on these series of messages, or series of messages, series of hymns on the submission of the saint. So this will be the first one on on these, not sure how many of these there will be. And this is a spiritual song titled Submissively, O Lord, We Bow. And this is by Robert Grace. And then Israel B. Sweezy. And so those are the two hymn writers there. No story for this one. So, all right. And uh, maybe we'll try to do the Only an Armor Bearer again. I really like this one a lot. This might be one of my new favorites. So, all right. So we might do that one again. And uh, so that's the hymn for tomorrow. All right, so put that aside there. And, oh yeah, let me grab the bookmark here so I can show you the the um, cover here to this book. So this is the hymn book here. And this is the blue colored one. So there's three different colors to these hymn books. They're all the same hymn book, but there's three different colors. If you want to order a specific color, there's the, the dark blue one here. And then there's also a brown uh, cover and then there's a lighter bluish grayish cover of the book and then there's also a leather bound edition and then a, um, a spinal edition of the book and what I mean by spinal I'm sure you probably know this is um, what replaces this kind of uh, side here it's um, this kind so if you like that instead of this which I kind of prefer this because it's um, nicer but if you like this kind you can order that on the website there, or whatever you prefer. So, amen. All right, and so uh, the hymn book and then the um, daily strength 
uh, books. These are um, four volumes to this series of books. This is volume two, and they can all be found at melodypublications.com. Is the website there. So you can order those on that website. And then there's some other material, I think, some CDs and some other things on that website that you can order. So that's that. And then the Scripture Song book and CDs you can get online at www.dailyscripturesongs.com. That's Brother Dean and Sister Patty Runyon's website, Missionaries to Port Kaituma, although they're here in um, the States right now. And Sister Patty will probably be heading back there sometime at the end of June, I think. I uh, can't remember the date, sometime at the end of June, and going to be there all through the month of July, helping with VBS and some other things uh, over there. And so continue to pray for that uh, um, mission work over there. More um, brothers and sisters in Christ that live locally. I've taken over the work, and then Brother Blake and Sister Haley Muska will be going over with a group of ten. I believe some young people there, some teenagers. Um, so pray for them as they go over there to help in July for the VBS um, over there. So, uh, excuse me, man. All right, so that's that information there for them. And then the Baptist Spread devotional book. This is the cover for um, this month and next month. And if you order now, you'll um, may still be getting be able to get this one. If not, you'll um, get the one for July and um, August when it comes out. So, and it comes in a box of ten, and it's twelve ninety five every other month. You'll get um, a box of these, and you can keep one for yourself and hand out the others to other um, there, or put it on the free table, or um, wherever you put uh, free items for people to um, take. So you can put it there at your um, church that you go to. So, Amen. All right. So that's that, and that's Baptist Bread. Dot com or www.timgreenministries.org is where you can get that uh, uh, subscription going. And then there's other books on the second website that I just mentioned. And check those out if you go there. And then, of course, the Bible, the King James Bible, the Word of God. This is the first book we should be getting into and reading it and studying it and showing thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth and going to God in prayer and seeking his face and um, asking him to guide and direct you in all truth and to have a good, solid relationship with the Lord. And uh, amen. And if you're not saved, well, today is the day of salvation. As I was saying earlier, nothing to fool around with, friend. And if you're believing that something else or somebody else can save your soul, well, you're sadly mistaken because it's only Jesus Christ that can save you. So hope you trust him today. And uh, if you keep re choosing to reject him and end up uh, dying in your sin, well, you have nobody to blame but yourself. Can't blame God because it's not his fault. He kept on coming after you and begging and pleading with you. So hope you'll trust him today and get right today. If you're a fellow believer and you've fallen by the wayside, uh, get back up and pick yourself back up and keep on going. That's right. So it's not uh, given to the flesh. Uh, Brother James had a good message on that uh, Sunday morning uh, titled Fight the Good Fight. So if you missed that, I encourage you to listen to it and don't give in to the flesh. Don't let the flesh have any type of ground and gain that ground back, friend. Get it back. So, and the flesh is our worst enemy. Uh, forget, I mean, the devil can't be everywhere and the world can't get you all the time. It's the flesh that gets you. So, you can't uh, escape your flesh, but one day we'll get our glorified bodies and, and when we go to be with Jesus, hallelujah for that day. That'll be a glorious day. So, tell them we have to continue with the flesh and the old man, but you can keep them down and don't let them get the ground and uh, keep on fighting so amen all right so i encourage you to check that out and that's um james knox uh, sermon youtube channel where you can watch that or you can go to the uh, church website which is www.jameswknox.org or um uh, go if you're looking for his books you can go to the store part of the website which is store.jameswknox.org and um, just about to mention the other uh, broadcasts I've been doing where I've been reading his uh, book on Genesis, uh, part of the Christ Honoring Commentary series. So check that out um, on either Facebook um, page or if you're um, not friends or um, know somebody that doesn't have uh, Facebook and you can direct them to the um, YouTube channel for me. That's Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting or typing in Baptist Bread Broadcast and look me up that way and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you know when I'm posting these up. And if you missed any part of this broadcast, I encourage you strongly to go back and listen to it because it's really good stuff from Brother Guy Goodell and the um, devotional and then uh, fellowship on the topic this, this week on fellowship. 
the daily strength uh, book. So, amen. And then the hymn was really good today. Um, it was titled uh, Only an Armor Bearer. So, and I actually found an instrumental for that. It's become one of my favorites now. So, we might have to try that again maybe tomorrow or soon. So, all right. So, that's about it. So, thanks for watching. And may the Lord richly bless you until next time. Bye-bye for now.